In this episode, we are going to take a look on how to create a point light or lighting with point light. So at the end of this episode, we are going to have this scene. So just this uh, loaded um, Christmas tree model, 3D model and uh, a rotating sphere, which is also the light. Okay, so I created this model in Blender a few years ago when I just uh, did my Pyglet 3D tutorials and I'm just reusing this same model for this video. Although I know that <laughs> it's not Christmas but I'm, I'm just fine this model after many years and I decided to use it in this episode. So, if you want to learn about uh, lighting in Panda, you should go to Google and type Panda 3D lighting and open up just the documentation and you will find uh, a much better and in-depth explanation than I will give you in this one video. So we are going to use, there are, I don't know, there are directional lights, there are um, point lights, uh, like here, point lights, uh, directional ambient lights, spotlights in Panda, and uh, I think that's all. You can do also shadow mapping. We are just going to take a look on the, on the point light, how to create a point light. So as a starting scene, I just loaded the Christmas tree and uh, I'm also loaded the sphere which is inside the here this white uh, sphere which is inside the Christmas tree and this will act as a light I mean the sphere so here the Zelda tree it is in the My Models folder and it is called Christmas Tree. And I also set its position on the Z axis, so negative uh, 2.5, and reparented this to the render. I created the light, which will be the sphere, so the model representation of the light. And I'm loaded from the default uh, library models. From the models, MISC and folder and uh, the sphere. I also set its scale because this sphere by default is uh, fairly big. I set its scale on all three axes to 0 0.2 and I also reparented this to the renderer. And uh, I also set it here the camera's position on Y negative 12 so the camera is moved back. I created here two member variables. One is the light x, and this uh, this will start at zero, and the light speed, and I'm going to set it to two. And here the def, I mean the move light method, which is being added to the task manager, so it's being called in every free frame. And for now in the move light, I'm just uh, getting the delta time. So now let's create the point light. So for that, we need to first of all import it from Panda Core. And this is a node. So we are going to create here, let's say after the light speed, uh, P light which is short for point light and calling the point light we just imported and also give it a name and I'm going to name it P light. Uh, I'm also going to set its color so P light uh, that set color and for now I'm going to set it to pure white so one 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 and one so red green blue and alpha and this is a tuple so the next thing will be to create the point light notepad 
So I'm going to set it as a member variable. So self dot point light node pet. So p l n p equals self dot render and attach new node. So attach new node and giving it the p light. And lastly, I'm just going to set tell to the renderer that it should use this light. So set that renderer or render that set light method. So set light and giving it the self dot p l n p or the point light notepad. So with these three lines, we just created a light. And um, if I run it now. Uh, as you can see now, the Christmas tree is invisible because the light source is inside the Christmas tree. So I'm just going to move it uh, a little bit to the right. So set that PLMP, so the no point light notepad that set position, and let's say on the X two zero and zero for the Y and the Z. And now this point light, uh, it is not visible because the we should also just we should also just set in the same position the light location, and this is probably not the best name for this. So I'm just going to rename this as instead of light, light model or light sphere, light model because this is not the lighting, this is just the sphere which will be in the same position as the light. And uh, here in the in the move light I'm going to add that orbiting uh, movement. So for now this is just a static light which is somewhere in this position on the x axis. I'm going to remove or comment out this line and also import from the Math library, the sign and uh, hops import. I always forget to add the import. So the sign and the cosine functions. So from math import sign and cosine. And here in the update method or the move light method, I'm going to first set the PLNP's position or the point light's position. So set position to on x it will be the cosine of self dot self dot uh, x light x self cosine of self dot light x i'm also going to scale it up by 4 and on the on the y it will be sine of self dot light x light x also scale it up by 4 and on the z it will be zero. So this will um, orbit the light uh, on the x y plane. So let me see it. But of course uh, we also need to uh, increment the self that x value. So self uh, that light x it will be plus equals to cell dot light speed cell dot light speed times the delta time so this is the light x it starts at zero and the light speed is two and here in the update method or this uh, move light method we just incrementing it by cell dot light speed times the dt every frame and now if i run it now, as you can see, our light is orbiting around around the tree. I'm also going to add this movement to the to the light model, which is the sphere, because it it is still not moving. So here, I'm just going to set the self that light model that set position that set position and i'm going to get the position of the self that plnp or the self that point light notepad so self that 
plnp.get position and now the sphere is also rotating with the light okay and the next thing i'm just going to do is um, go to to the documentation and you can also set the so-called attenuation and here it says you can set the attenuation coefficients with which causes the light to drop off gradually with distance so there are three atten attenuation coefficients constant linear and quadratic so here is the p light that set attenuation and uh, and it is also a tuple so you can set the constant which is the default and then the linear and also the quadratic and let me see it so uh, it's p light p light that set attenuation and as a tuple this is the default so one zero zero so um, i mean zero zero so the constant and let me see if we set this, this to linear it is now a little bit darker and let me see if we set this to uh, quadratic it is even more darker so as they wrote in the documentation as if the light is uh, further from the christmas tree it uh, has uh, it the light drops off gradually with distance so let's go through quickly on the code what we just wrote so here i'm loaded the christmas tree here the sphere which will be the model for the light i mean the representation for the light light and we just created a light x and a light speed uh, member variables and here we just create the point light node we set its color to pure white we created a point light node path and we attached this to the renderer I mean, we attach the point light node to the renderer using the render that attach new node method. I'm commented out the, the set position and also the set attenuation. And uh, here we just uh, set it for the renderer with the set light method, the self.plmp, so that it will use this light. And in the update method, we just setting the point light notepad position on cosine of x and sine of light x and also scale it up by 4 so this will as i say this will make sure that it orbits around the x uh, y plane and also we just set the models uh, the spheres position based on the point lights positions with the cell that plnp that get position and also incrementing every frame the light x and let me see what happens if we set the point light color to let's say pure red so here is red green blue and this is alpha and now we have this red christmas tree so probably most of the time you will use just pure white for this.